Oh wow, check out this deck tracker. Hey guys, welcome to the Gods Unchained beta with the professor. All right, in this video, I'm gonna be showcasing to you a new tool created by our community members. It is a long awaited and much needed deck tracker. You can see the deck tracker here on my screen right now. It is created by our friends from metamoon.gg. Metamoon.gg is a company that's founded by two of our community members, Line Unchained and Natomali. So let's go into more details here. So if you're interested in supporting our friends and getting a copy of this deck tracker for you to try out on your own, make sure you head over to metamoon.gg. I will go ahead and put that link in the description of the video. You can see also the website right here, metamoon.gg. Their first product is a GU deck tracker, God's Unchained deck tracker. For you to download it, it's currently on Windows. You just click on this button right here, Windows GU deck tracker to download a copy onto your computer. Once you click on the download button, it opens up a pop-up window and you can choose where you want to save it. I'm going to go ahead and save it to my MetaMoon folder. It comes down as a zip file. Before we open the file, just go ahead and finish looking at the website. They have a lot of features coming soon based on the deck tracker. There's a newsletter where you could sign up and put in your email address. They have their Discord link, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram right at the bottom. So feel free to give them a follow on all those platforms. So once you have your zip file downloaded, you go ahead and just click into it. There are two objects in the zip file, the deck tracker itself and the MetaMoon database. So what I suggest you do is you highlight both files and then you move the actual files onto your desktop. I've gone ahead and moved the two files here, the MetaMoon GG deck tracker and the MetaMoon database file. As a word of precaution, anytime you download something from the internet, make sure you run a virus scan on the files. I've gone ahead and ran a scan on the file for my computer. It looks clean, so I'm going to go ahead and run it. So once you run the deck tracker, it pops up a window for you. You go ahead and open your Gods Unchained game. Select the deck that you want to play. Go ahead and hit play. So here we are. With our magic deck matched up against death it takes a while for the deck tracker to load because it pulls directly from the game log files so you go through your normal god power selection and you go through your mulligan as you can see the deck tracker already updated with the deck that i'm currently playing you could go ahead and um, resize the window you might have noticed that the deck tracker actually already shrank down and that's because as you pull cards out and put them into your hand, the deck list gets updated. So right now it's showing that in my deck, I have one copy of Mana Toad left and I have a 3.85% of pulling it. Here's the other Mana Toad. I don't have any actions on the first turn, so I'm going to go ahead and pass. You can also click on your opponent's name here. I'm playing against Amal. So if you click on Amal, it pops open their GU decks page. So now I can see that this is my opponent. I could go and look at the deck that they're playing. So they're playing death and they are probably playing this deck. So if you're playing against people that hide their names with boxes, you could click on their boxes here. And what's gonna happen is you're, it's gonna pull you directly to their GU deck page and you can see what deck they're playing. Just a little way to even up the field. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and resize this a little bit more. All right, so keep an eye on my cards and my deck list here. And you'll see when he ends a turn and I draw a card, you'll see that something here will change, whether it's the number of cards left and the percentage or the actual list getting shorter if it's a one-off copy. All right, so you may not have seen that, but I saw that the Crystal Rain went from two copies to one and I saw all the percentages update. So now the chance of me pulling a card that has two copies, like a Pyramid Warden, is now 8%. I have an 8% chance to pull a Pyramid Warden. For cards with only one copy, like my Mana Toad, I have a 4% chance of pulling a Mana Toad. I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of the ward here with the Tracking Bolt. Setting up a uh, Crystal Rain for the next turn. All 
All right, so let's keep an eye on our deck list here. He should be passing the turnover soon. Okay, so we pulled one of our Labyrinth Guard. And again, percentages updated. We go ahead and do Crystal Rain here. It kills three creatures. Get good value for it. All of Lightning next turn. Uh, we're already at turn five. We don't need the Wall of Lightning. I'm going to throw it back. All right, so we got our wall lightning anyways, and percentages updated again. I think we just go ahead and um, clear his board here. All right, we have a lot of one copies left, so we should be able to see our deck tracker sh get shorter here. There we go. Earlier, we had a card that was all the way down here, but we pulled our last Labyrinth card. And so that card has been eliminated from the list. Percentages have been updated accordingly. And now one card that was here has moved up to show that the card has been taken out of the list. We pulled our only Demogorgon out of the deck, so now the deck tracker is showing us an even shorter list. Right now I have two copies of Inferno on the deck, 14% chance to draw one, and then I have several one copies left, and about a 7% chance to draw each one. Alright, we should see our deck tracker get shorter here, as we only have one copy of each card left. There we go, deck got even shorter. All right, we got to concede. All right, so that's a preview of the deck tracker from Metamoon GG. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me or Lion Unchained or Nada Molly in the Discord. Also, make sure to either sign up for their newsletter, join their Discord, follow their Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for more information. Go ahead and give this a download, run your own virus check to make sure it's safe, and go ahead and enjoy a new playing experience in Gods Unchained.